What's up guys, it's music producer T Customs with tcustoms.com and lately I've been doing more beat making videos. Uh, today I wanted to take some time out to delve into uh, another Ableton Live tutorial like I've been doing before. Uh, today's topic actually comes from some questions I had from some of the beat making videos I've been putting up. I know a few of you had some questions about pitching a sample and so today what I'm going to show you is how to globally pitch your sample slices using a macro inside an Ableton drum rack. A while back I uploaded a tutorial that steps you through how to chop samples using an Ableton Live drum rack and also how to create what is called a custom slice preset. This tutorial is kind of going to expand upon that so if you haven't seen that video and you want to see what was included in that video you know feel free to check that out. So when I say globally pitching your samples using a macro, uh, in this drum rack you can see all these sample slices I have occupying these cells. So what I'd like to do is be able to map the pitch of those samples to one of these macro controls over here. That way I can pitch every sample at the same time. Um, another nice thing you can do is once you've mapped your sample pitches to a macro, you can then MIDI map that macro control to a knob or fader on your MIDI controller so you can control the sample pitch from a piece of hardware versus having to do it from software and actually click in here on the, the macro. Uh, one of the things I like about using the MPD32 controller is that they have a built-in localized uh, MIDI map that's automatically done for you. So what that means is when this drum rack is selected that each of these eight macros will automatically sync up to the eight knobs that you have on the MPD controller. So once you click off of the drum rack and it's no longer selected, the localized MIDI maps won't work. Another option is to go up here and set a global MIDI map, and that will allow you to control that pitch from anywhere in Ableton. All right, so in order to change the pitch of the sample, I need to locate the transpose function. So really, all you need to do is click on one of these cells with the sample you have sliced in it, and this pitch oscillation tab and you'll notice this transpose right here and that's what you want. So this transpose is only controlling this second slice that I have but you'll notice I'll go ahead and trigger the the sample so once you find the right pitch for the sample then all you have to do is right click copy value to siblings and that will apply that same transpose to all the samples that you have chopped. Since you don't always know what pitch or speed that you want your sample to be in, you really want to have this map to a macro so you can change the transpose on the fly. So like in the slice preset tutorial, I now have an empty drum rack with a sampler in C1 and now I want to map the transpose to a macro. To do that, I right click and select the macro I want to map to. Uh, then the next thing you want to do is change the step to zero. All right, so once I save that preset with that transpose macro and slice my sample with that preset, now I can change the pitch of all the samples right here. And if you click on one of the single slices and come over and look at the transpose setting, you're gonna see this little green square in the top left-hand corner. And what that means is that's mapped to that macro and if you watch this transpose down here, as I change this transpose, you'll see that move as well. And if you go to any other slice, you're going to see the same pitch on those. So now to take advantage of the localized MIDI mapping with the MPD32, all I have to do is select the drum rack, and now I can use the K2 knob to control the transpose. And I could also make that macro truly global as well. All I have to do is come up here and click MIDI, click on the transpose macro that you set, and then turn whatever knob on your MIDI controller you want that macro to map to. So now you'll notice that the drum rack is no longer selected, but I'm still able to control the transpose with my MIDI controller. Alright, so that's all I really plan to cover in this tutorial. 
Uh, if you helped out, drop a comment, let me know. Uh, I'll include a link to the sample slicing tutorial I mentioned uh, in the description so you can check that out if you were interested. And also to the free sample beat on my website, I'll uh, leave a link in the description for that as well. Until next time, happy beat making, peace.